Okay, we are doing number 13 in the chapter 6 review, and what we're going over is the box method for factoring. So this is the alternative method I've given you for factoring if you don't like the regular method. And we want to factor this 12r squared minus 5r minus 3. Now, of course, you could do this by the regular method. I'm merely going over how to do the box method for you. The first thing for the box method that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to fill in these terms. And if you look at the generic trinomial A, B, and C. So what I'm going to do is pull those down here. So this is 12. This is negative 5. Remember, you need to take the uh, negative signs and negative 3. And then we want AC. So 12, <coughs> negative 3, negative 36. Now, the first thing we can write in here is we know we want the first term and we want the last. But to get these two, we have to use this AC term. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out all the factors of this AC. So 36 can be 1, 1 and 36. It can be 3 and 12. Let's see, 4 and 9. Um, 6 and 6. 2 and 18. I think I have them all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 6 to be our last one. So these are all these. Now, what we want to look, these, of course, this one here can be negative 1 and positive 36, or can be negative 36 and positive 1, because we want a negative product, so we need one of each. Now, of these sets, we are looking for one that's going to give us our middle term, this negative 5. So, if we add negative 1 plus 36, we get 35. It's not negative 5. Negative 36 and 1, negative 35. Again, not 5. So, we're going to go down these. 3 and 12, you can see those are going to be 9s. It's not going to work. 4 and 9 is going to give us a 5. So if we look here, negative 4 plus 9 would give us a positive 5. Nope, we don't like that one. But what about 4 plus negative 9, negative 5? So this is our middle term. So we're going to write them in here. So we've got a 4r and a negative 9r. It doesn't matter where you put these as long as you get them in these two boxes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor, we're going to pull out the common terms going this way horizontally and this way vertically. So if we look at 12r squared and 4r, what are the common terms? You can see we can pull a 4r out of both of them. Here, negative 9r, negative 3, we can pull a negative 3 out of both of them. Going down this way, 12 and 9, hmm, let's see here, what can we take out? We can't take the full 9, but we can take a 3 out of both, and we can also take an R. Here, you can see 3 and 4, we can't take anything, we don't have a matching R, so this is just a 1. Now, what we do here, at this point, is these are our terms. 4R minus 3, 3R plus 1. This is our factored term. You can check this though. Get out your foil and just foil it back. 4r, 3r, 12r squared. Okay, foil outer. 4r, inner, negative 9r, and last, negative 3. Let's see here. Negative 5r, minus 3. We're back to where we started. So this is our correct factored form.